Here's what's been making the business headlines in sub-Saharan Africa this week. Zambia has clinched a deal to restructure more than $6 billion in debts owed to other governments, a French official said on Thursday. It is a long-awaited breakthrough for what was the first African country to default on its sovereign debt during the global health crisis. Zambia's private sector creditors are expected to follow the public sector example and also agree to reschedule the $6.8 billion owed to them. The announcement was made at a summit in Paris aimed at easing the debt burden of the world's most vulnerable countries while freeing up billions of dollars for climate finance. At the event, a deal was struck for a coalition of countries to provide $2.7 billion for Senegal to increase its installed capacity of renewable energies to 40% by 2030, according to President Macky Sall. We think that if this money is gathered, we will be able to reach or even surpass this objective. objective. One tool in focus at the summit was debt for nature swaps, which help countries reduce what they owe in exchange for climate commitments. The EU's lending arm, the European Investment Bank, is expecting to back its first debt for nature swap this year, with its director of lending estimating that there were five to ten possibilities in sub-Saharan Africa alone. South African petrochemicals firm Sasol, the world's biggest producer of fuels and chemicals from coal and gas, is also making moves to combat climate change. On Wednesday, it said it had agreed to form a sustainable aviation fuel joint venture with Danish decarbonisation company Topso. SAF is made from non-petroleum materials such as agricultural waste and has similar properties to conventional jet fuel, but with a significantly lower carbon footprint. And finally, Kenya's parliament approved a contentious government finance bill late on Wednesday that will double the fuel tax and introduce a new housing levy. President William Ruto says a raft of tax hikes being pushed through as part of his maiden budget are necessary, but the opposition is threatening protests if they are signed into law.